Hello, and welcome to another episode of Pedal Exploration, the show where we explore the magical world of guitar pedals. Last time, we took a deep, deep dive into one pedal in particular, the Moog Mini Fugger Chorus. Uh, we're not gonna do that again. That was a lot. This time, we're gonna talk about a whole general idea about a way to play with guitar pedals. And it's something that is very near and dear to my heart. Well, actually it's, as far away from my heart as you can possibly get. Uh, it's my feet. That's right, we're talking about playing guitar pedals with your feet. And I don't mean just turning them on and off, obviously, that's, you have to, that's normal. I'm talking about moving the knobs with your feet to adjust the sound. So this is something that I think is a super cool technique. I don't really see a lot of people talking about it or really doing it that much. And I talked about it a little bit in the last episode of pedal exploration. I kind of wanted to get more, a little more into it and talk about how to do it and you know maybe why you'd want to do it. And then at the end of all of this, I'm going to attempt to play all of the parts of the fork song Limax while changing the sounds with my feet. But before we do that, let's talk about, you know, like why you would want to do this. The important thing to me is I really like to gradually adjust sounds. I don't really like to just click on a pedal and the sound suddenly changes because to me that's not very musical. So what I end up doing a lot is I'll just leave some of these pedals on and just turn them all the way down. This delay pedal will basically just stay on all the time with more or less the knobs off with this overdrive pedal on but with the gain all the way down and then as I'm playing I can just like kind of blend it in as I go so say there's a bridge where you want to start off clean and then as it goes along you want to get more and more washy and reverby build in some delay it becomes a way of thinking like a producer while you're playing live so it's almost like bringing the studio style of playing into the live experience in a way that you can't really do without using your feet because you can't keep on playing if you bend down and move knobs with your hands. But you can take it to an even more extreme place where you're using it as a way to actually change the sound that you're making in like a really audible way especially like during a solo moment. This is something that I've done, you can hear it a lot especially on the last Fork album. This is like very similar to expressing yourself like keyboard players can do with synthesizers where they're playing with one hand and adjusting either like the pitch wheel, the modulation wheel, or even like a filter while they're playing to create an expressive sound. Sometimes I do it in Snarky Puppy on solos, especially on songs that are have really open solo sections, just get super weird and Expressive. Okay, so that's why you would do this. Let's talk about how to do this. It's a little ratty looking right now. I just got off tour with Fork and it spent a lot of time banging around in my luggage. A lot of things that are not what they should be. But on the plus side, this is a very real demonstration because it's exactly what I just got done touring with and I can show you how I really do do this in real life. So one thing that has a big effect on this is how far apart your pedals are and how they're arranged. And of course, the more space you have around a pedal, the easier it's gonna be to get your foot in there to adjust a knob. But unfortunately, 
with limited space, especially for traveling, sometimes you just have to cram them in anyway and just live with it. But you'd be surprised how you can get used to kind of angling your foot in just such a way to get to some of the knobs. Everything about how you set up the board is going to affect this. So I'll spend time before a tour just moving pedals around and trying it out with my foot just to see if I need to adjust things slightly. Another thing that has an effect is what kind of shoes you wear or if you are just wearing socks or just bare feet. But there's something that's more important than all of that, and that is grip. If you've ever tried to move a pedal knob with your foot, then you will know that it, the results are pretty haphazard because the plastic doesn't really grip to your foot very well, and the shape of the knob means that you're sort of like doing random intervals instead of really smoothly adjusting it up and down. So the most important thing you can do is to get some kind of grip on all of the knobs that you want to adjust. And I think the thing that put this into my brain was seeing the MXR rubber knob covers that come with some of their pedals. And I was like, oh, that's great. That's genius. I'm going to get those and put them on all my pedals. But I realized pedal knobs come in all different shapes and sizes, and that just wasn't going to work. So my solution was to get rubber feet from the hardware store and use a box cutter and cut them into rings to fit on the different pedal knobs. And if you cut them at the, you know, more toward the base or more toward the top, then it'll give you slightly different size rings. And of course, if they're just not going to work, then you can get different knobs and replace those knobs. Sometimes you get a knob that's just an awkward shape, like you can see on this tremolo pedal, I didn't like the knobs that came with it, so I replaced the top left knob, and then bingo bango bongo, you got your knob with a grippy grip on it. Now I do wanna say, if you're gonna do this, the most important thing is do not hold them with your hand while you cut them with the box cutter or you run the very serious risk of slicing your fingertips and ending your career as a guitar player. Use some pliers, something to hold it away from your precious fingertips while you're cutting your stupid ring out with the box cutter. And I know because I almost did that. So please, if you take one thing away, let it be this. So that's that, you put a grippy thing on all the pedals, and then the real secret weapon is for the one knob that you definitely want to adjust, you get this thing called the Wingman made by Option Knob. And this is a special device that is specifically made for this purpose to allow you to change your sound on the fly. The only downside is you can only really pick one, maybe two knobs per pedal to put them on. But basically you just pick the one that you care about the most and there you go. There's a special little shaft, shaft? I don't like the word shaft. There's a shaft that it goes on. So you only have to sort of calibrate it one time. And then from then on, when you're done playing, you just take the top part off. When you wanna play again, you just put the top part back on and it's super easy. So, okay, one warning though with these, it is possible to f up your pedal with this wingman. So you just have to be careful. There may have been a time when I got a little bit excited in the middle of a solo, and if you step down in the wrong way, it's possible to snap the potentiometer. It's also possible that if you leave it on and other people are walking around and aren't watching where they're going, they could step on it. You should always take them off when you're done and just don't, don't get too excited while you're playing with them. This is a message for all makers of pedals out there. I would like to draw your attention to this specimen right here from the 80s. This is a Maestro pedal. It comes with not knobs, but rather rolling wheels that allow you to use your foot as God intended. The way you turn the pedal on is not with a button, but by stomping the entire pedal. This is technology that has existed since the 80s. I, I, I don't know why you're not all doing this. This is amazing. I mean, don't get me wrong, this is, this, is a, this is too big. This is way too big, this pedal, I don't understand. Um, and also, don't definitely don't emulate that part, but emulate this part. This, also, let's ignore the fact that it says balls right there. Let's just, let's just focus on the positive. The rolling thing, the stomping thing. I would say, um, for all you pedal makers, just, there you go. Thanks, thanks for listening.
Let's finish off by doing a little demonstration. I'm gonna do all the parts in the song Limax, which is a song I wrote for Fork. This is gonna be a real crappy rendition of it, but you'll get the idea. And I'm actually using the drums that I used for the demo that I made of this song. So there you go, that's a little demonstration of sort of what I do when I'm playing in bands, whether that's Fork or Snarky Puppy or Bocante. Anytime I'm playing electric guitar in a band, especially when I'm trying to play a lot of different roles between soloing or accompanying people, doing texture stuff, it just makes everything so much better to be able to use my feet. So yeah, that's that. That's really all I had to say about that, basically. It's play with your feet. People should use their feet more. I think there's not enough foot action in general when it comes to the guitar, and that's really all I was trying to say. I probably could have just put that in like a tweet, but I wanted to make a video because it's fun, and hopefully it was fun for not only me, but also for you. If you thought it was fun, then go ahead and push that subscribe button. Like 60% of you are not subscribed. So like, just what what are you doing? Just subscribe, like, what do you think? I have like a million subscribers, I don't need you. I need you, you. I need you to subscribe and share this with your friends. Tell everyone about it. We all need to be playing with our feet more, but more importantly, I need subscribers. That's what I'm trying to say here. So let's do that. Us together, we're gonna do that. We're gonna get me subscribers. You are gonna get me. <laughs> Looks like I'm <laughs> holding a little piece of poop in my hand. <laughs> It's not, it's a pick. Sometimes you get a knob that's just an awkward shape. <laughs>